thanks for joining me. I'm Andrea. This is Crafty Little Things. Um, and it's the weekend, so we're card making. Um, I've already made this card um, for the Joy of Sets, week, uh, Joy of Sets um, 2018 Christmas album. Um, this is my ninth entry to that album. Um, if you don't know about Joy of Sets, it's an album-based group. Um, and you can use Stampin' Up! or any other products. I've chosen to use other products this week. Um, and you just pop a card in the album whenever you feel like it. And I decided to challenge myself to pop one in every Sunday. Um, and this is my ninth one, so I've done that ever since it started. There is a video showing how to make this card and explaining what I've used. I've also made this card, which is a little bit off that. That should be a little bit further across. Um, which is made using Stampin' Up! supplies and this was made um, as part of a challenge. Um, it was a sketch challenge that's on Positively Papercraft Facebook group every week um, and this was my challenge entry this week. I decided to make a Christmas card so I'll probably pop that in the Joy of Sets um, Christmas album as well. Um, and now I'm going to make a card for the Stamp With Joy sketch challenge. So I'll just try and find a picture of that to show you. I don't know if you can see it, but there's the sketch. I usually follow challenges, okay. um, sketches to the letter, but just lately I've got a bit more adventurous. Um, so this one is for that one that I just showed you. And for this one, I'm using the Tea Room Suite um, from Stampin' Up. Uh, this isn't a Christmas card, you'll probably be pleased to know, because we are in, this, in the crafting world getting a bit obsessed with um, Christmas. So let me just, let me just find it. So yeah, this is the Tea Room sweet it's beautiful and I've only used the papers for this one um I haven't used anything else in there um I have used a stamp from an old tea room a uh, tea themed um sweet uh, stamp set from Stampin' Up and that's called um tea shop um and that's where I got this gorgeous little um sentiment from I've also used a retired Stampin' Up! punch to make these little flowers. Um, I've used some sequins that aren't Stampin' Up! and some rhinestones that are. So my base then is 6 by 4 and I've folded it landscape. And then it's a very vanilla base. And then I've got um, a rich raspberry um, layer or mat which is... Um, just a quarter, um, an eighth of an inch smaller, so it's four and seven eight, uh, three and seven eighths by five and seven eighths. And then I've used this absolutely beautiful paper. These papers in this are very flimsy. They're like they're actually like sort of envelope paper, I think. And I've made that a bit smaller, so that's um, three and three quarters by five and three quarters. And then another design with the little teaspoons on it. Can you see that? It's so cute. Um, and I just got a little strip of that, which is um, three quarters of an inch by five and three quarters. That's just going to go across there. Then I just cut out one of the images, and I've just cut it out as a square because that's what the um, well an oblong, because that's what the sketch um, called for. So that's just going to go over the top there. And then I just put my sentiment on a piece of vellum. And if you look, there's a piece, there's a rectangular piece coming up on this on the sketch. Um, but I've decided just to put mine up at the top. And I'm kind of going to put it, I think I'm going to put it sort of there. And just, I've folded it over. I stamped it with Rich Razzleberry, by the way. I folded it over and scored it just at half an inch. Just so that... It gets a little bit of lift because I want it to push out, I want it to flap out so that it shows up better, okay? And you can still see the gorgeous flower underneath. And then I made these flowers, I cut out three for each flower using the Petite Petals Punch and I just dipped the edges into the Rich Razzleberry ink 
I sort of laid them together, turned them up a little bit and then I used a lovely little flower sequin from my stash. Um, I got those off eBay and I popped a little rhinestone in the middle of each one and they're sort of just going to go in a little cluster up there. And they're not on the sketch but like I said I'm getting a little bit adventurous now with sketches. So that's it, so I'm going to put that together. So I absolutely love that card, I love the textures in it, I love the sparkle, I love the colours, I love the sentiment, stay is a charming word in a friend's vocabulary and it is isn't it, it's absolutely beautiful, I love it. Um, so that's my entry for the Joyous Sets challenge, um, you can see my next one sneaking through there, um, yeah so there, there we go. Um, no, it's not the Joyous Sets. This one's for Stamp With Joy. So, yeah, so that's my entry in Stamp With Joy um, sketch challenge this week. And I absolutely love it. Um, <coughs> so, I um, hope that might have inspired you a little bit to try something a bit different. Um, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.